friend, our approaching platform maze for next eastbound service, heading towards Abbeywood. Hey guys, welcome for the Elizabeth Line. So I'm at Woolwich and I'm here to try out the new Dream Machine immersive experience. So essentially it's, it's like you're on LSD. Obviously no drugs are involved. It's an experiment and uh, promises light and music to really trip you out. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't have a ticket, but I'm gonna try and get it in anyway. I'm running a little bit late, but hopefully I can make it. to London for 15 years now but I've literally never been to an inch in my life so this is my first experience of it. Hey how's it going? Do you have any spare tickets for the 430? Nine people on the walk up list already. Oh really? Yeah, so okay. I can add your name, but there's probably no, it's probably unlikely. How about a 5.30? 5.30 you'd be fifth. Fifth, okay. I can just add you to both if you'd like. Yeah, if you don't mind, is that name? okay? Richard. So obviously, as you heard, uh, I'm on the waiting list. I'll go back at half four and we'll see you then. That's all we can do. By the way, I have a real fetish for flat roof pipes. Not sure if I've ever told you, and I've just seen the perfect one. Have a look at this. Okay, no, 29 minutes past four. So let's see if I've been successful or not. So, I didn't get in, however, I just took a random bus anywhere, went along a few stops with the aim of, of uh, getting to the Thames somehow and I found the weather spoons and we proper chuffed about it. Maybe I haven't told you or maybe I have told you 10 million times but I have a real, real thing for the weather spoons pubs and try to visit them wherever I go. It's not the most cultural thing to do, uh, but yeah, I need to get inside. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Okie doke, 5.30. Time to head back and see if I've been lucky. If I haven't, that's fine. I'm sure we'll find something else to do. Okay, I've got two minutes. So what is Dream Machine? So essentially, it's an immersion experience. It says that the most complex technology required is your brain and everybody's experience is completely unique to them. So essentially it's flashing lights, it's music um, and the, the experience that you have basically just depends on you. And uh, it uses a technique that was advocated in the 50s by the likes of Interest Thompson, by the likes of William Burroughs. Apparently it's, it's like doing LSD without actually taking the drug itself. So I've always wanted to do LSD, but I've, I've never done it. So I'm super, super excited. I'm here now, so fingers crossed.
how was it? Well, I've just been blocked from putting my name down. For the next one, it was fantastic, really good. Essentially, it's an immersive experience with your eyes closed. So you keep your eyes closed, you've got a blanket, you're in a room surrounded by lots of people, participants, and the lights flash, they've got a John Hopkins uh, soundtrack as well. Everything after that is your own interpretation. You know, I was talking to one of the organizers afterwards and I won't share what he saw, but um, you know, he, he saw like a, basically it was like a personal family memory and uh, the same for me too as well. And you know, for other people, it was general stuff about the day. I highly recommend it. It's fantastic, it's great, um, love psychology experiments it really has to be seen to be believed it's fantastic as for the rest of the day well Rachel will be here shortly and I'm not quite sure what they're going to do might go to the Thames uh, might check out the, the old town centre who knows not really sure but um, the train gets in in 15 minutes so we'll see On reflection, I suppose it wasn't as intense as I thought it would be. I'm not sure if that's because, you know, I meditate every day and, or whatever, I'm not really sure. Everybody was very sort of wide-eyed when they left and for me it was, it was an experience that happened. It wasn't, you know, life affirming, life changing, anything like that. Um, but I would absolutely love to try it again. I firmly believe that was probably a state of mind, to be honest. I, I really, really want to experience it again, for sure. And it'd be nice to, to share the experience with somebody else as well. I'm not sure what's going to happen now. If this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. The rest of you being is quite underwhelming, if that is the case. Thank you for sharing this experience with me. Uh, I'm sure I'll see you guys again very, very soon. So I wasn't actually allowed to film in the dream machine. I got told off for having my phone out and filming that bit where I was walking down the corridor after getting the bath and water. But it was not too dissimilar to this to be honest. Hello mate, how's the food? Nothing, absolutely nothing. So how have you found the food so far? We began the meal with a shot of this Chinese spirit and then we went for a bottle of Magello. After that we would have the Gandan noodles, old XO noodles, vegan pork dumplings. <laughs> Okay, so we definitely want to more modern. The last one thing is we're in the market. They're not essential, but shit, it's so busy. Yeah, so we had to leave Mestry Market, it was just so busy. And um, I think there's been like a lot of promos since we last went there because it was kind of an underrated gem and it's like 20 minutes to get a drink, which is fine. We're glad they're doing well. So we were chatting to the bartender one night, thanks Julian, and um, 
towards the end, it turned out that he's actually the owner. But uh, he just hadn't admitted it. And he made us the most incredible cocktails. And he gave us lots of recommendations for California, which we're going to in like three weeks time. Uh, he's such a lovely guy. And it turns out it's actually his first night on bartending duties. He's normally in the kitchen. He's the owner of the place. And I have to say, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm so impressed with the place. And uh, yeah, he gave us some recommendations for California. I like how uh, at the moment London having a Windrush sort of celebration. It was quite a seminal event. London's good. Yeah, it's quite expensive to go to that night. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Not you. <laughs> you arrived at the wrong moment for that conversation. <laughs> no, no, no. It's part of the crew. I'm just part of the thing about you. Pickled onion. Yeah. I don't know about the pickled onion, right? but he's, he get, he's getting paid for it, but we, we lost that here, Bell. Yeah. I don't know about the pickled onion franchise. <laughs> he made no sales. Pickled onion? No sales. Mate, I've pickled been to onion sales. gangster. Yeah, right, sure. Yeah. What? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Drum. Yeah. Drum up. Drum up. Apparently the hearts are fine. Are you already in trouble? What? <laughs> Ha 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 ha!